Last week we saw how to create a software conceptual design using the function behavior structure framework. This week we will be looking at another software design representation called UML or the unified modeling language. You will learn different types of UML diagrams and how they can be used to create detailed designs. You will also be interacting with a learning environment called Verisim which will help you develop an integrated understanding of different UML diagrams. Finally, we will be looking at how you can evaluate a given design by considering several quality attributes.